Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Nearly a year ago, I started my first video here at Turn Right Machine Works. And I touched on uh, generally a couple things that you might see going on here, but I also was touching on man made damages. Uh, and we touched on uh, hammer dings, mushrooms, and flares. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, neural by pipe wrench. Uh, we really haven't seen any of those examples come along. Uh, we've seen some other uh, damages that are caused by neglect of maintenance and things like that. Well, today we <laughs> finally have arrived with a you broke it off in your hole or you broke it off in somebody else's hole. We have a easy out that was snapped off in this bolt hole right here and uh, we have another one over here that hasn't been removed it's a broken off uh, bolt and uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna first we're gonna clean all this up here and before we do that we're actually gonna go make two uh, blank uh, two blanks to cover the oil ports for the turbo before we do any work it's the most important thing you can see that the person at least knew what he was doing when he pulled this off he knew he had to protect those ports from any debris in there you get debris in on your oil side of your bearings on a turbo and it's all over uh, so we're gonna go in a plasma cutter we're gonna pick this whole center we're gonna just quickly burn out two flange blanks and uh, we're gonna bolt those in there and then we're gonna start setting up and we're gonna go ahead and put a nut on here we're gonna heliarc that nut to that stud there and we're gonna heat the shit out of here and we're gonna take that one out or attempt it. After that, then we're going to show you what it takes to uh, get this mess cleaned up. And we're going to come in here and we're going to grind open this whole pocket. We're going to get the remainder of the bolt and the remainder of the, the easy out. Now, easy outs are misnamed. Um, the, the easy part of easy out fools or mentally psychs somebody into thinking that that's the quick way to get it out. An easy out is no more effective than a left hand drill bit. If the threads are, if it's a shear case, if it's broke off and the, and the bolts actually can be taken out but you need to get a hold of it, that's what the easy out is for, is to drill down in there and then and be able to get reverse tang pressure uh, on the material itself to draw it back out just like a left-handed drill bit would be drawing it out so uh, a lot of times I think people are misinfluenced by the name easy out um, because it's definitely not easy now all right so let's get going on to the rest <laughs> of this project here's a close look at the remainder and it's a four uh, four fluted easy out, probably a straight four fluted easy out that's broken off in there that I can see from the end here. on there uh, there's a, a look anyway of all right just so we don't have any high spots on there Alright, looks like a good pattern there. Now these are a little bit long on the threads there. I think uh, we may, we may not have enough for all. Looks like it.
We're gonna go ahead and get some washers. Okay, instead of a stack of washers, we just got a 7 16th bolt, and all we're basically doing is just taking up some space there. It's just to hold the grit dirt. We're gonna be grinding on here, and you gotta protect that port from getting crap in there. Okay, we can feel real secure about that. All right, now the other side. The other side's got a fitting. We've already broke it loose because we had to go in and we machined a uh, replica of this thread right here with no hole in it. Because this is a, 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 a you know O-ring fitting nut, and we don't have a blank cap to put on there. So we went ahead and duplicated that thread, and we're just going to shoulder it out. We turn that on the end of a aluminum slug here. All right, we'll tighten that in with a pair of down locks or pliers. All right, a little snug on that. All right, now we're ready to work on the turbo without getting any debris inside the oil cavity area. This is open exhaust and the veins and all of that's fine. This is the uh, exhaust end here. This is just a water jacket. It's open on both ends. We'll be able to blow that out. All right. We're going to clean this up, get rid of the oil and stuff, and we're going to find a nut. And we're going to try uh, heliarching it onto this broken off bolt here. And then heating both sides here. We'll see if we can get that one broke out before we start uh, grinding and cutting this one out of here. Now this is kind of a slight debate there. That is a little bit better than halfway through this nut sticking up. And it is nice and square on the top. And I got it nice and clean all around there. And I believe that's going to be strong enough. And I'm going to very carefully come in here and wash into that, make sure that I got a good bond on there, fill that cap back up there, rather than try to build a little bit more on here right now and then try to get the nut down over that, because we are pretty close to the diameter there. Notice I brought the ground clamp right up to this housing. I didn't want to take a chance on it arcing through the bearing somehow. Always have your ground clamp right to the object that you're grind, you know, you're welding on. successfully on bonding the whole top of that to the inside threads on that nut. Uh, I'm glad I did it that way. I feel good now. All right, uh, we're, we're toe clamped on two spots. The turbo is hard down to the table here. And uh, we went ahead and we wire brushed off of there. Everything's cooled down and normalized now. And uh, we got a, we got a 12 sided box in here. I don't think we're gonna get serious with a six sided. Uh, and we're going to start he heating this up.
Now, uh, you know, I mean, this is just a logical attempt to get the bolt out. And uh, you do have to have the oxygen settling to really give a good shock. And also, too, if we would have had that one in the same spot before it was drilled and, and before the, uh, the easy out, the non-easy out was broke off in the hole, this expensive job could have been taken care of with about two of those and uh, probably would have been like $60 charge. But now we're going to have to get serious about that one. Okay, we, uh, we've got this clamped up here so that we can whittle away on this thing and it's held up and rich and I'm going to leave it right here after we get this cleaned out. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the side pretty well straight up on top here. Okay, something like that and however deep we need to go in here like that until we have that 100% cleaned out. Now, we've also verified with a square that this whole pattern right here is square with this uh, face over here so that when we go set it up in the in the mill to go ahead and come in and re-drill and tap this hole right here we know that we can set square with this and we know that this distance out here is equal to this distance and this distance is equal from there to there so this whole pattern is square to this face and equal distance here so we can come and zero right back in and put this hole exactly where it needs to be. So we're just going to open up here, we're going to fill it on in, give us enough material to come out here, we're going to hand draw this space right here, drill and tap it. See if we can get that uh, easy out out and see if uh, it's square enough. Maybe a little screwdriver right here. Yeah, there's the remnants of the easy out, and it is a square, um, one of the uh, foreign models there. 